Like many Haitians, these MSF staff members have been hard hit by the earthquake too. Many have lost relatives and most have suffered material loss. I lost one of my cousins. My house collapsed. Now we're in the streets, living in the streets, with my children, my wife, everyone. Ludovia is now living in a makeshift shelter with her family. Despite all that has happened, she's back working with the MSF teams. It's chaos, but by continuing to work, at least I know I'm helping. I hope not, but maybe something even worse will happen, and at least I'm doing what I can. I'm giving what I'm able to give. Fleeing the city isn't going to stop anything from happening. You're better off helping in whatever way you can. MSF's international president came to Port-au-Prince. During his visit, he paid tribute to the staff's work. Our Asian colleagues have lost their homes, they have lost their families, they have lost friends. We even have lost some of them uh, in the collapse of one of our hospitals. Uh, there are still some people missing among our Asian colleagues. And I'm here to say on behalf of MSF, of all MSF, that we really share their pain. It is with immense sadness that MSF learned of the deaths of four Haitian colleagues, as well as four others who had recently worked for the organization. Six other staff members are still missing.